A chance of flurries brings potential for some minor travel issues, which is why the Arkansas Department of Transportation has crews out right now preparing. Five News reporter Morgan Wrigley has been out with those road crews today. She's live in Fayetteville with a look at what's being done to keep drivers safe and traffic flowing smoothly. Morgan. Well, if you've been out and about today, you may have seen some of those RDOT trucks working on some of our roads and bridges. And those crews are working to be as prepared as possible for any winter weather. While scenes like this one in Nebraska aren't expected in five countries, small flurries and freezing temperatures may bring some slick spots to our roads this week. To prepare for that, RDOT crews are out pre-treating some of the known trouble areas and beefing up staffing for whatever's in store. When we expect winter weather to hit Arkansas, we're reviewing several different weather models and trying to determine how many resources we need to allocate to prepare. So um, we are having a few extra crew members come in um, at night to help us pre-treat some of the trouble spots on the roads. Crews came in Tuesday night to start putting salt brine on those trouble spots with more joining the efforts Wednesday. There are some spots on the roads that we, we call them bleeder spots because liquid or uh, precipitation tends to seep up from the pavement and cause, cause icy patches. In addition to those icy patches, RDOT spokesperson Ellen Coulter says it's wise to take it slow on bridges when temperatures drop. We do always warn motorists that bridges do freeze before roads because they're not insulated like a road is by land. So um, it is possible that those bridges are going to be icy in the morning. Which is why she says drivers should give themselves more time to get where they need to go. Watch out for black ice and um, and just don't be in a hurry. Leave space for the cars in front of you and um, eliminate distractions. Now this winter, RDOT has added more trucks and plows to its fleet. It's also made the largest salt purchase in the state's history, 70,000 cubic yards. More than half of that is here in Washington and Benton County. Live in Fayetteville, covering news where you live, Morgan Wrigley, 5 News.